Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Appleberry. This is Kenny the Messy Soper. And what I got going on today, as you can see, I'm using my new most favorite mole, and this is probably my most favorite mole forever. <laughs> um, I have it on a tilt because I did a little sketch, and I'm going to attempt to uh, do this the way I want it. Hopefully, it turns out the right way. Um, as you can see, these have already been poured because they're in these baggies. I don't know if you can see that. The reason why I put some of them in baggies is because I want to get them on an angle without making a big mess for me to have to try to clean up. And um, I figured that would be the best way to do because I can kind of hold the bag down. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to execute it, but that is the thought for now. Um, colors I'm using, as you can see, is pink, more pink, green. And my base is going to be white. And then I'm going to attempt to do a gold mica line in between each layer. And then, um, oh, also, I did a blend on my fragrance, which I haven't done a blend in a very, 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 very long time. So the blend is dragon fruit, hibiscus, guava, and red berries. So this smells wonderful. All right, so um, now that I explained all of what I got going on, I guess we should get started. now so um, as you can see the whole baggy thing didn't go as planned but that's fine and I don't mind the thickness of the soap because it actually helped hold it its own I do have a little line of uneven pink here that I'm not caring for too much but oh well what can you do about it and um, this mica is doing the most it's just like not even wanting Oh, of course, now I'm filming it once to act right. But when I was trying to get it to go on the green layer, it was really trying its best not to come out of this strainer. But um, it's still doing what I want it to do. So the plans are to... Um, hold on one sec, guys. The concentration is real. Okay, so the plans is to... Um, do it in the pot and then tilt it back over and fin finish off the remaining with the three colors again yeah I don't know how this is gonna turn out I'm not sure I'm just winging it and uh, hopefully it'll turn out the way I want it to and what you guys see me spraying with, with a clear bottle on each layer is alcohol I just find that alcohol actually helps that layer thicken up a little bit faster than it normally would so that's why I do that. Um, I'm not too concerned about uh, mica or whatever else being on the sides because those ends are normally cut off anyway. So not much of a concern for me. Um, I just love this mold because you can really, really see what's going on. Um, especially if you're trying to do a straight line or anything of the sort. This is definitely not going to be a straight line. <laughs> but um, I'm okay with that. So what I'm gonna do is just try to tidy up just a wee bit and again that's where this mold comes in handy because you can actually see what you're doing but um yeah so that's where we're at oh and as you guys can see I got a new um, 
cover for my table. Thank goodness, because that grody table just wasn't really working tabletop. <laughs> so I was able to get this. This is actually vinyl flooring, a sheet of vinyl flooring. I was actually able to get this for 18 bucks. Can you believe that? So um, got it from Home Depot. Yeah, I'm asking for trouble by doing this again. Okay, so let's get this in the pot going and get this soap business finished up. I'm going to save these bags because I do plan to use them again. I'm going to refill them, I think. I think? Not sure. So let's move that on out the way. So far, like I said, I do like the look of things. The only thing, this pink should have been a wee bit lighter. And why do I have this old busted ragged cup? Is because um, I had used that color for something else. And I'm like, well, I'm not about to waste it. So I just uh, left it as it was. And yeah, I know that looks crazy thick, but it's been sitting for a while. So it'll be fine. See that? Just fine. Now, as far as my in the pot goes, I don't want a crazy amount of color. Hmm. Now I'm feeling like I got to change the plans. I don't know. But. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Or do I? <laughs> Woo, okay. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill these bags back up so I have the colors that I need. Hopefully, just hopefully, they fall into place like I want them to. So, I know I clipped that in off, but oh well. Okay, so what I'm going to do just because I have a whole lot of cream left, cream base color, so I'm going to kind of open this up by smearing it along the walls of this bowl. And then I'm going to add my colors like that. It's going to be very pretty, I think. And now, when I um, actually cover this up, now I have enough color in the middle and it won't look so, ugh, you know what I mean? So I'm actually going to take that and flip it over just like that. And now I'm going to add the rest. this texture actually works out perfect for me because again I need it to be thicker and I think the lines are going to be very crisp because it is thicker but sometimes if you do it in the pot and your batter is too fluid it just kind of blends in together I've had that happen on a few soaps and I don't like it so I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning these cups So now that we got that all scraped out, what I'm going to do is go around my bowl. One, two, three. Just kind of twist my spatula. And then I'm going to zigzag it because I really do not like when um, I do it in the pot and then I have all this bulk of white from the bottom or whatever my base color my most color was it all kind of falls on the top that ain't what I was trying to go for you know so now what I'm gonna do is spoon a little bit on first just because I don't want it to be too heavy and then just kind of mess up all of my angle because what would be the purpose so this is a rendition of what I had in mind is it exactly what I had in mind? No, never is. <laughs> but am I happy with it? Yes, yes I am. So, so I'm gonna give that just a little bit of a tap down. Nope, I need to put a little bit more in this corner. Alright, so 
So give that a smack down. Just a little jiggle. Oh, this is gonna be a different looking soap. I just really wish that I didn't have this line of pink on this side. Um, I can lean it over and show it to you like that. I don't want that. I really do not want that, but ain't nothing I can do about that now, now we Yeah, it is. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is take this skewer. I love this mold because I can actually see what I'm looking at, y'all. Well, at least I thought it was. I'm take this skewer. Never mind. <laughs> That's not working the way I thought it was, but I still know that I can see. So, oh well, whatever, it's whatever. So now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pour um, the rest of what I want in this mold. I gotta remember to save some room. Okay, I am gonna do the rest of that tilt. The rest of that tilt, baby. Okay, so now, give it a little jiggle again. I really am just because I've seen so many new subscribers subscribing to my channel and I am so truly truly greatly appreciative I sure is so thank you I really do mean that from the bottom of my undecided heart because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out just what in the hell of it I'm supposed to be doing here let me be the first to say this teacher in play way too much I ain't got time for this foolishness <laughs> thing is tripping okay here we go again now when no soap come out Woo. okay i bet i mean soap <laughs> um might come out i bet you it will now okay there we go Let's see this mic better quit playing with me i got things to do i'm sitting here patting this mic ain't one of them what am i doing i saw one of my soapy sisters doing this and it does help to get this mica to move around so i'm just kind of puffing air on it to get it to move that's what i'm doing so clearly i don't have enough <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> i'm gonna still make it work now how i'm gonna get this to work i don't know <laughs> i really don't know but i'm gonna try to figure something out here okay let's see that is not going to spread out the right way. I don't even know why I'm playing. So, now, plan B. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and squirt the rest of these colors on here. And come up with something else. Isn't that a great, I mean, a really great idea. Hey, hold on. Hold the phone. I think I just figured something out. Yep. Woo! I love when it all just falls together. Now, is this going to work? I don't know. But I think it will. So, let me, just to get it to settle. And now, I am going to take some more mica. And I actually need to sit that back up. And we're going to cover that. Like I said, this is very unintentional, but I think it's going to work. I'm just all out of view. Sorry. <laughs> At least I thought it was. So... Got to heavily coat that. Yeah, this definitely didn't. Okay, don't be a pig, dude. I'm filming. So Gabe just opened the door and belched really loud. So if you guys heard that, so sorry. Men are gross. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can come down. <laughs> I heard him coming and then I did and he's standing on the bottom step holding his mouth like sorry. So I'm gonna give that a, another little spritz. And then 
we're gonna go in with the green and I don't feel like I need to have to tilt this again but I'm gonna just because keeping up with the trend of things oh and I just poured itself all over this table dum dum okay so just kind of go with that like I said I don't know what this is gonna look like but I'm going for it okay so now I'm gonna give this one a smack down uh, and clean up that because that's gross say hi Gabe hi Gabe <laughs> what's up dude this light's nice though yeah it is we're talking about how nice my new countertops are oh it's so lovely because the other was just wood and it cleaned but like I have a habit of cleaning my countertops with alcohol or some type of cleanser and it didn't really like that so much so yeah that was that and I keep tilting this back up and I had told you guys I was going to do something different with this countertop anyway I just was undecided I was going to do the plexiglass then I was going to do like actual ceramic tile but this worked out lovely No glitter maker, man. <laughs> Say bye, Gabe. <laughs> okay. So, give that a little. Let's kind of pop that around girl you are brilliant um i believe i know who this i saw do this but i don't want to call out the name just in case i'm wrong <laughs> but uh she knows i watch your channel because i've actually commented a few times but yeah honey you're brilliant for this one because uh i don't have no puffer bottles and um this works just fine okay so now now what i don't like i will say is this blob of green that's kind of sitting up on this corner so we're going to clean that off and I can dump that back in there. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And then I'll take the remainder of this that's in this pot and fill all in. Yeah, I got something going on. So I do like what I'm doing. Like I said, improvise, improvise, and it does work. So I'm gonna take this knife and push that down into that corner. Waste nuts, what not? And there was no sense in me tilting this. I mean, really. Because it's thick enough to kind of stick up there on its own. And I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like. But I think it's going to be cool. I think. Kind of living on edge. I always do that so dumb okay so let me do my mica line first and then I'll tilt it back up let me tilt it back over I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm feeling kind of loopy all right so very happy with pots I'm gonna puff this out again okay now so now first and foremost um where did I get this mold because I always get asked uh this mold came from an Etsy shop Called custom craft tools uh, the owner's name is Alex one of the owner and he is absolutely fantastic hi Alex hi guys over at custom craft tools hello um, <laughs> so yeah be sure to head over to custom craft tools on Etsy and uh, talk to him about getting yourself a mold um, as you can see he makes fantastic molds uh, I am so in love with this mold. I just like I can't even get over how awesome it is. Like, it's become my most favorite, and I've divorced my other moles. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> be sure to go over and support because you are supporting a great artist. And I call him an artist because I mean, it takes artistry to make these beautiful moles. I mean, art could be anything really. If you made something and it came out lovely then guess what it's art if it came out ugly guess what it's art so <laughs> um 
yeah be sure to support because that shop definitely deserves it because i love this mold and this is going to be super tall because i am using all of my soap batter so that's okay so sorry guys there will be no minis on this one no minis now i don't know what i'm going to do with the top of this as far as mica I'm undecided. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a smack down. Okay, up. So now I got my mess cleaned or contained, should I say, a little bit better. And I'm gonna grab a spoon and then I'm going to texture this baby. Yep, I'm gonna texture her. And then I think that, oh, she's going to be pretty tall. <laughs> I think that um, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of dry mica powder on top. So, probably should have went down at first. Just kind of plant those edges a little bit. Yeah, I'm off the mashes down just a little bit because uh, it looks like my soap has a pompadour. It's kind of big. <laughs> so, yep, we don't want that. Okay, yep, let's mash her down just a little bit. Oh, I love this soap. I think it's going to turn out really, really pretty. Hopefully. I don't put too much mica powder. So maybe I should hold it up high. Yeah, just like that. And I'm tapping this very lightly. Because I really don't want a lot. Now, I'm feeling like... Now, I was going to put some flower buds on here, but no, I'm not. Everything doesn't need flower buds. I'm just going to do a little bit more. A little mica. So, yeah, I like it. I do. I do, I do. Now, of course, I'm going to give this a little bit of a spray with some alcohol just to get that mica to kind of settle down. And then, I don't want soda ash anyway, so it worked out perfectly. I'm not too concerned about these little bits on the side. A part of me really wants to clean that up, but I'm not going to just because then I know I'm going to mess up my little texturing. So, I am not going to put any glitter on here because I really, really want it to, but I decided not to do it. So, I am just going to clean uh, just around it, just around it, just to make it look a, a little bit pretty, you know. Because she needs to be Instagram ready. <laughs> you know, I gotta take pictures for Instagram. So thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to stick around because the cutting will be attached to this video. For sure. I, I noticed that you all like that better. It's easier to find. Because I had a lot of people saying that they could not find my cutting videos. So I just decided to put it all in one video when I can. Okay. So, mm, yep, I lied. I'm putting glitter on this puppy. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, I need to definitely switch up my color schemes because I'm starting to feel like every freaking soap that I do end up looking, have these same colors. I just, I mean, like, literally just realized that. So, see, I'm not going nuts. Just a little bit. That is all I will do. Just kind of give it a little pizzazz. Yes, I love that. Alright, so, yep, stay tuned. I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see a close-up. And then, you'll get to see the cutting. And, yep, I'm going to be a rebel and tilt that to the side. Just because it's stiff enough to do so. Honey, if it was runny, you wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Alright, see you guys over there. Hi guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry. Um, I guess I didn't need the intro just because um, 
you guys just saw me make this soap but it is two days later so I really do love the way this turned out it's really pretty that mold just releases the soap so lovely and it smells amazeballs I mean <laughs> it really does smell super duper duper good um and as far as all that work I put into it, it's expecting these different layers and swirls. Oh, okay. I was just about to bash my soap. <laughs> Are they straight? No, but is that pretty? Yes. Yes, it is. I love that. It is always so hard to tell what the soap is going to look like on the inside based on the outside. I mean, it really is. And I should have cleaned this up beforehand, but it's too late. Um, This is really pretty. So I am extremely happy with it yes i am how oh, darling that is a really pretty soap i do like that you guys like that if you do be sure to give a thumbs up that is gorgeous i'm very happy with the way that look and it's so springy isn't it please bring the spring because <laughs> it's so funky weather outside Ugh. oh yes oh it's below zero. Oh, it's four below zero. Oh, it's five degrees today and then we had one day, and again, these videos are always weeks in advance, but we had one day where it was actually 56 outside, and then the next day it was like 13 with a bad snowstorm. Great. Yay, Michigan. <laughs> and I know some people have it far worse than we do, so I feel your pain. But these are gorgeous. Absolutely. Oh, I used to do blends all the time. I don't even remember if I said that in my making video, but I did used to do blends all the time. And then I just stopped because I started reviewing for Rustic Essential and they have such great fragrance blends. Why do I need to? But when I get like those little one ounce bottles from different companies, I'll get them as samplers or whatever the case may be. I don't necessarily have anything to use them on. So that is what I do with them. I blend them. The ones that smell great together. Oh, that is gorgeous yes it is and again I'm going to I did say that these were starting to look like another soap that I made it was just a smaller uh, soap but let me show you something that's what I mean like I set out to switch up like my color schemes here because don't those look alike <laughs> um, they are not the same fragrance not the same colors but they end up looking very very similar and yeah, don't like that. So I'm gonna have to stray away from the, oh, that smells great, this little one. <laughs> I'm gonna stray away from uh, that color scheme or any any pinks, unless it's just something that just really blows my socks off. But pinks and greens mixed together, nope. I'm gonna have to take a break from those for a while because yeah, they're different soaps, different shapes, different colorings, but still, they look very similar. And I want my soaps to stand out from one another, not look like twinning. But I love this. It's so gorgeous. And um, it's probably been a few weeks. I don't know when this video will go out. But thank you guys <laughs> for all of the love that you gave on my um, what not to say to a soap maker video. Sorry, walked away for a second to grab a piece of napkin. But yeah, on my what not to say to a soap maker video. I cannot believe <laughs> all of the love that you guys showed on that video. And I know it had been a long time coming for me to film that video. Um, you just have to kind of put yourself in the mode to want to do it. Uh, just because it took me eight hours to film that. And although it was an eight minute video, it really did take a full eight hours to film. And I just want to give a big old thumbs up to Gabe for, <laughs> for putting on a wig for me. So, and actually acting the scene that I wrote for him so just thank you guys you guys show me so much love but i was just really 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 blown away like how many people watched that in a matter of one day so thanks again you guys are awesome i'm glad you enjoyed it and i knew like a lot of soap makers or any anyone who sells a craft an art to the public i know you feel me on that because uh some people can be quite crazy and um, I don't know if you read in the description box or not, but none of those characters were just things that I made up. All of them were actual customers that I've actually been told or said or asked those things. So that's where I got the idea from. That is gorgeous. I'm in love with this soap. So yes, it did turn out the way I wanted it. Um, I originally wanted 
straight lines here but I'm very happy with the way this turned out instead that's lovely I just love when my soaps play nice <laughs> I really do and yeah so I don't know what the next one will be and then I think like don't hold me to it I don't know when I'll do a part two I know I've been asked quite a lot from a lot of you to do a part two but I don't have anything else to really add to it like my experiences with the crazy stuff that I've been asked but I saw a lot from you all so what I think that I might do and again don't hold me to it because I don't know when I'll be able to do it but if I do decide to do a part two I'm going to pull from your your guys' uh, comments and experience and the questions, the crazy things that you've been asked uh, by people uh, concerning your products. So, yeah, I would really, really like to do that because they are fun to do. The, the actual filming of it takes like five seconds, really. It's the editing that's a monster. So, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So, thanks. Thanks so much. You guys are rock my strappy socks. Oh, this is beautiful and I'm very happy with what I've been doing in 2018. What a way to start 2018. This is Yeah, no, this is my third soap in 2018. Yeah, it took me a minute to get back <laughs> Because I had so many videos in advance, but yeah, these are all going to be 2018 videos from here on out Because um, I actually put out some throwbacks too. I don't have any more of those. I got one and I think that was my very, very, very first video I ever, ever um, filmed. And I, it wasn't soap making. It was just talking about what to expect from my channel. So one day I might just throw it at you guys. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know what to call this soap. It is so gorgeous. It's very, very girly. I'll come up with something for it. Because that is one girly, pretty soap. I love her. I do love her a lot. And those three fragrances, thank God, they played nicely together. So, oh, and also, my Hey Girl Hey. So I do want to show you another one. Once I'm done cutting this, I'll show you. So if you guys can remember, I did use a uh, color stabilizer in it. And it's been about four weeks since I made that soap. And I do see some brown spots starting to appear. Um, it's nothing rapid. It's no huge change, but I am starting to see it, especially on the top and I don't know why that is because I did mix the um, Color stabilizer throughout the entire batch of my um, fragrance oil But it's nothing crazy. So if you guys don't mind a few little dark marks Oh my gosh, I think my heart just jumped out of my chest for those of you who have a Samsung uh, <laughs> Uh, eight or higher you know that there's this uh, voice tool called Bixby and it's a lot like um, please shut up Bixby it's a lot like Siri and she'll just start talking that scared the crap out of me because I'm like there's nobody down here with me so who's talking and she's still talking so <laughs> that's hilarious so I'm not even going to attempt to cut the back of this off because I already know what it's going to end up like but that back is actually really pretty so good